A lot of strange things have been happening in the games industry recently, and at the forefront of this is Microsoft. Recently, they've announced that Xbox exclusive games will also be being released on the PC through Windows 10. And just uh, yesterday, they announced that Fable Legends is being canceled and they are closing the developers of the game. Now, as expected, this is causing a lot of uproar amongst the, both the media and fans of Xbox for good reason. These events leave many people asking the question, is the Xbox dying? My short answer is no. Well, the Xbox isn't doing as well as, say, the PlayStation 4 and sells. It's selling very well. As a matter of fact, according to VG Charts, it's around 19.9 million units sold, so they're definitely not hurting. The Xbox brand is thriving probably better than it ever has before. Personally, I just think that Xbox made the, or Microsoft as a whole, just made the uh, this decision to do these things because... Well, first of all, they should have been doing this in the first place because, you know, they have a foot in the race with uh, Windows 10 because Windows has been the main platform for PC gaming since ever. In addition to this, I think that Microsoft just realized that uh, most PC gamers are, no matter how much they really want to play a game that's on a console, they're not going to buy a console because they really just prefer PC gaming that much. With that being said, I think it was a smart idea that Microsoft is releasing their first party games on the PC as well. Instead of the game being stagnant on the Xbox One, it's going to sell more. A lot of PlayStation 4 owner owners also own PCs, but didn't buy an Xbox for whatever reason. So, you know, they get sales over there without contributing directly to their main rival sales. They can still reach those audiences and potentially sell more copies. So this is just a really smart move, in my opinion, and marks a change in the gaming industry. Sony has yet to really do this with, you know, first party developed games, but they are experimenting with it with uh, third-party games that they are heavily supporting or third-party games that they are treating as first-party games such as No Man's Sky. But Sony doesn't really have a need to do this considering, you know, how many consoles they're pushing. But I think that in the future, we're going to see them start to do this more as well. As a matter of fact, the next firmware update is reportedly going to add the feature for the PS4 to stream games to your PC. So it's already starting to you know move into that space so i think that this is a smart move and the xbox is not dying it's going to continue to thrive people are going to continue to purchase it and hardcore xbox fans do not have to worry games are going to continue to come to your system and there will probably be a next generation xbox well that's it for this video if you liked it please leave a like and if you don't like it, well, I guess you can hit the dislike button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Is Xbox dying or are you excited if you are a PC gamer and th that you're going to be able to play uh, Xbox titles on your PC? If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. And if you haven't, follow me on Twitter so I can keep you up to date with my uploads. As always, stay super and I'll see you in the next video.